everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa from Potsy Fighter, and I'm back today with another 8.5 by 11 scrapbook process video. Sorry, I bumped my tripod here, so I have to fix that up real quick. There we go. So I'm scrapping this picture today of this these mountains and the sun coming through. It's really pretty, and I'm going a bit dark today. Um, I know it looks kind of black, but this is actually also very dark navy blue and the other paper is navy, but I'm not going to use that in how you see it, so it doesn't really matter. But this here is my main piece of the layout if you want. I am just roughly cutting around it. I'm going to fussy cut that neatly in, in a bit off camera, but for now I just want the, the thing so I can see what it looks like and can just move it around and stuff. Um, because the other paper, this one here, is my background. Now I really like the right side with the all of those kind of like strokes or I don't know what, what they are. Um, but the left side has this, can you see this curve? And the circle fits in perfectly. So I decided to actually go with this side and not the side I, I like more, but that's what we're doing. So I cut down my paper, trimmed it down, and this is how it's going to go. Then on the back, there were some clouds and I was like, okay, that's perfect. So I backed my photo with this and in a bit off camera, I'm also going to use some white tissue paper. Um, um, to matte my photo even more, but I'm gonna do that off camera, but you know how to apply tissue paper, so that's okay. Um, so yeah, there we go. All cut and tissue papered up, and now I'm gonna start working on my title. I know usually I don't do it this early on, but um, I want my title to be one of my main focuses here on this layout, and it's gonna be Shining Mountains. For my mountains, I'm going to use the Indigo Hills collection from Pinkfresh Studio. Um, when I say collection, I just mean the alphas, sorry. And for my shining, I'm going to use the um, alphas, or the thickers, I should say, from Paige Evans. I think this was her... Was it Pick Me Up collection? I'm going to use the navy blue. Now, quick warning off camera, I'm going to look for them for a bit so I'm gonna be shaking the camera up real good right now but I'm gonna look for those alphas nope not gonna find them for a while because I have a lot of alphas let me tell you that much it's crazy how many alphas a person can actually have but yeah so oh my god look at this but there we go. These are the ones. I think this was her pick me up collection. Pretty short, but I, I can't be 100% sure, but I think so. I really love these tiny ones. So, there we go. The Shining Mountains. Now, um, first off, I'm gonna adhere down my circle because. I need that to stay still. I tried it upside down, but I don't like it. So, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So before I adhere everything down, I decided to use my Tim Holtz Distress tool to distress the edges of my circle. And yeah, I love how much dimension this gives without actually popping anything up on foam or on tape. So I love how this looks. And this is how it's gonna stay down. Not stay down, stick down. Try to kind of line it up with the background, like the, the back of the paper. So I know how this circle goes, although it really, really doesn't matter because I'm gonna cover up a bit. And now I'm adhering down my title on this, um, along this curve, um, which I really like. This end kind of broke when I picked it up, so had to stick that down, but here I'm gonna adhere down my title along the curve. I love how this looks. And when I come to the shining, I'm gonna line it up 
about in the middle of the bigger font so it doesn't look too tiny it kind of doesn't look off so i decided to go with the middle you can line it up uh, at the curve directly of course or you can line it up um, on the top of the bigger font but um, I wanted this to be kind of in the middle so it looks all neat and nice this is the Inigo Hills 2 collection the phrase stickers and I just used two of those phrases um, that I stick down in this corner as a base of my um, What's the word for the thing that you do? Oh my God. Like when you put a bunch of ephemera together in a cluster. Oh my God, it's a base of my cluster. Sorry, I was blanking. Anyways, I teared down my photo and I'm getting out some white cardstock because I'm using a bunch of these stickers from the Amy Tangerine Shine On collection. This is the like sticker book. And these are all clear and I don't need clear stickers because you couldn't see them because of the dark background. Here I just checked if I wanted this turquoise to mix in and I said, decided that I like it. So I'm going to use a bunch of foliage and these like flower pots. And off camera I'm going to fussy cut them and use them as like tiny little ephemera pieces. But yeah. I'm not gonna make you watch this because this is boring. Anyways, so here I just, I just started to place all of these things in little clusters or I just have like this row of embellishments on the top of the photo. And then I also add one next to my phrases and now I add two little heart stickers. I don't back them because that is white so you can see them and this little flower pot or whatever garden not garden but plant I'm gonna pop up on with some foam squares to give this layout a bit of dimension like actual dimension there we go and these I'm gonna stick down basically how you see them pretty sure exactly how you see them there we go oh yeah the Sun came in so I'm sorry it's really overexposed but I filmed this with natural light so the Sun came in from the back window and it's gonna go away in a bit and then it's gonna come back real bad and then it's gonna stay away so I'm really sorry about that but that's the perks of, you know, filming with natural light. There we go. I'm going to look like a ghost again. And boom. And it's gone again. These are Head in the Clouds um, enamel stickers from Chamel. really like those little star burst things. I don't know what they are. I love them. I used all of them. And, but this was the last color that I had left over and now uh, they're all gone and I really love these. I hope more collections bring in this um, kind of shape. Really like it. Oh, the sun came again. I'm sorry. But yeah, now I'm going through my sprinkly bits stuff, but I can't find anything that I like. So in a bit, I'm going to get... Um, like one of those IKEA kids blades. It's uh, roughly the size, it's a bit smaller, but about the size of my circle. So I use that to cover up my circle. And then I'm gonna use some Heidi Swap Color Shine to sprinkle it all around my layout, especially the title. And my circle stays protected. So there we go. This is the plate. Basically everyone has that, I think. I feel like everyone I know has these IKEA plates as well as the the bowls. At least if you have kids or had kids or have kids in your life in some way, shape or form. I have them because of my nephews and niece. Because when they were kids, I used these when they came over. And also I like to use them, honestly. Just 
just for a snack or something. I like them. They're cute. They're rainbow, so what's not to love about them? And yes, I also do have adult plates. <laughs> so don't worry about me. But yeah, anyways, um, why not bring those IKEA plates for, to good ears by using them as um, those protection thingy here. Anyways, I'm talking real nonsense, so I'm gonna show you the layout up close now. So there you can see that it's actually a navy blue, not a black, as I said before. Really love how that gold is on shimmering on that navy blue. It's so pretty. But yeah, here are some close-up photos. I really hope you enjoyed this layout. I love how it turned out in the end, although it's very different for me. Anyways, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!